How to tell a real OPI from a fake. One of these bottles is fake, and here's your clue. These are both sparkalicious. Um, you can see a major color difference. So, there you go. Okay, so um, things that OPI has done that um, they thought were helping, but actually I think it's hindered. Um, some bottles have this number on the lid. Um, some bottles have green writing now on the bottom, except for the serial number, which is black, which I have some that are before they started trying using green, and um, they are all black. Um, they also have serial numbers down here, and serial numbers in the glass etched in. Um, but again, not all bottles have those, so that's not a good indicator. Um, some bottles have their glass etching etched off, and they also have some bottles that have this number etched out. Then I have bottles like this that have no number, no etched number, no number in the lid, and a label that doesn't even have a serial number. Um, but this one's real. I purchase it at a real low, um, authorized retailer and um, yeah so all of these bottles have the wide brush um, except for my old ones that are all black and it has the narrow brush and they all have um, OPI written on the brush stem up here at the top part of it on, on one side um, it's hard to tell you I kind of just scrape the polish off on the lip of the bottle and I look and sure enough it says OPI or you can feel it when you scrape it. So how did I know one of these was fake? Um, the smell. Uh, this one is a fake one and it smells like the packing tape, the wide you know three inch or whatever strips you use to pack moving boxes. It smells like that. When all of these smell the same, they have the same sweet smell. OPI uses the same formula, just, you know, puts different colors, so why wouldn't they smell the same? Um, the old ones don't smell exactly the same, but, because they weren't three free, but these are three free, and they all smell the same. Why wouldn't they? Um, but, I mean, at first I thought this one was real. I mean, it, set, I mean, it looks real. Um, the real one actually has a, um, Serial number that's twice the size length, and they both say Sparkalicious NH B08 on them as a color. So somebody took an OPI bottle, changed the brush because the real Sparkalicious has a number in them, and they made their own cheapo brand. They took some cheap top coat probably and put some cheap glitter in it. Um, but just a real bottle and. Yeah, there's a serial number on this one too on the bottom. And I don't feel an etching. So um, this one has all serial numbers erased. Nothing here etched in the bottle, nothing there. Um, let me put you down. Let's see here. I went nail polish shopping today and I kind of scrape off some of my nail polish and test it on my real nails to test the color against my skin tone. And also my nails are yellowing um, the top half because um, the acrylic is yellowed my nails so my natural nail is not yellow but my the nail that was damaged from the acrylics is. So there is a fake one and actually that's a lot of glitter. That rarely happens. But here is the real Sparkalicious. And for some reason, normally the real Sparkalicious has more glitter than the fake one. But um, yeah, you can tell it depends on color. But I really hope this helps. Um, I'm really sorry that. Um, it's, I mean, there's no real way to tell because some colors have the numbers on the bottles. The only way I can really tell you to know it's fake is by the smell. 
They all smell sweet to me, so if it wasn't for my sensitive nose, I would have gotten ripped off and had a fake one, but thankfully I had the sensitive nose and I could tell. Um, so unless somebody knows of a master list, OPI's done, where they, you know, make a grain list and tell you, oh, Brisbane Bronze has a number on the lid, the color to watch has a number etched in the glass, and, um, Mar strawberry margarita has nothing so unless someone has a list like that where I can go um, the only way I can think that to really tell is the smell they all should smell the same there's no reason why they shouldn't except for the really really old ones that aren't three free so I hope that helps um, I hope you have s at least you know a couple that are come from a real OPI you know authorized dealer like Ulta or Beauty First or Trade Secret or something like that, and um, you can use that smell, you know, the, to tell a fake one that you may have bought online. So, hope this helps. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.